Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, I hope you're all having a good evening. It's like maybe quarter to eight here in the evening and it's only 89, only 89. Yeah, it's gonna be a hot night tonight, I can tell that. All right, so I have a book review and I haven't done one for a while and I guess it's about time I do one. <laughs> Um, I do have some books I'm going to be doing a video on that I received from Samantha Price, and I'm reading one of the books now, so uh, that's why I haven't been doing a lot of these, but um, I'm going to do a book review. This is a three-book series, and we're going to just start out with the name of it, which is Shiny Things by Samantha Price. Samantha Price is a very, very good author. I absolutely love her books. She writes uh, Christian Amish books. And this time she changed over and she's doing this series, this three book series is on a lady named Gretel Koch, K-O-C-H. And she is a lady jewel thief. And she pulls all kinds of heists. And so... Let's talk about the characters. We'll do our breakdown, the characters, the story, and then my opinion of the book. All right, so let's start again. Shiny Things by Samantha Price. The characters are, of course, I mentioned her. The main character is Gretel Koch, and she's the Lady Jewel Thief. And then we have her working with FBI Special Agent Jack Fletcher. And then Kent. Now, Kent is her go-to man. Um, when she needs to have a building checked out because she's going to be get, trying to get into the vault, he gets on the computer. He gets all of the blueprints. He finds out where the cameras are, where the alarms are. And he's also her um, friend, a, a best friend. And he's her info man. And he is her watch out man. As to say, when she goes on a heist, he's, I shouldn't say watch out, I should say her lookout man. So he stays in the car and he tells her if anyone is coming and if to get out or what. So now, those are the main characters. We're going to talk about a few other characters here, but basically, those are the characters that are through the full three series of books. So let's go on with the characters that are in this book that you're going to hear, be hearing about. Now, Mr. Glenn Welsh, Mr. Buttersworth, Mrs. Walsh, Ryan Buttersworth, and Grizel Buttersworth. Okay, now, how are they, as we know, we can tell by their last names who's related to who, but let's find out what happened. Well, Gretel had done, she'd been in prison before for a heist, for a heist. And so this time when her and her boyfriend, Ryan, decided that they were going to do a heist of these diamonds, um, she knew that if she got caught, she was going back to prison and they're going to close those doors and, and forget about her. But she still went ahead and did it. You know, things you do for love, right? Well, unfortunately, she did get caught. Ryan took the diamonds. They did the heist. Ryan stayed in the car. He was the lookout man. She went and did all the work, and then she gets caught. Now, Ryan took all the diamonds, which are the shiny things, and fled with them. Now, the FBI gave her a choice. You can go back to prison, which is where we'd really like to put you, or you can work with us. They've been having so many jewelry heists lately in their city that they needed someone to tell them how these people are getting in the buildings, how they're getting out, and how they're getting these vaults open. Now, she wasn't a person who went into a jewelry store. Oh, no, that was piddly stuff for her. She went into museums. She went into these big buildings, banks, things like that that held jewels, that held really like big diamonds and just a lot of money and things. That's what she was doing. She wasn't into the little jewelry store thing. So she gave, she said, okay, I will work with you guys. Now she was thinking, you know, she wanted to still find Ryan because she wanted her share of the diamonds. 
this point, she didn't care if they were in a relationship or not. She just wanted her share of the diamonds. But what happens is, is that she finds out that she's not going to be able to be looking for Ryan all that time because she's thinking one, two days a month. Okay, no, it's five days a week and you're off on the weekends. Mm. How is she ever supposed to find him now? She gets her first case with Jack Fletcher, Special Agent Fletcher, and it's a murder case. Wait a minute. She's someone who breaks into vaults. She's not someone who kills people. She steals. She steals jewels. She doesn't kill people. But the reason why she's on there on this case is because he was killed inside his home office and his vault in his office was open and had been cleaned out. Now, when she gets to the scene of the crime with Jack, Jack asks her the first thing is, how do you, how did they get in? How, what did they do to get in here? And she said, someone, he opened the door for someone or someone had the combination, but he either opened it or someone was able to get into it. They didn't use any type of devices. It was just opened up um, the way it should be. Well, that's odd because his wife was out of the country and being when she was out of the country, she always gave the servants a day, their time off and she wasn't due back in the country till the next day. So that leaves his wife out of it. He liked to be home by himself when his wife was out of the country. And so, you know, who could it be? Um, his son, by his previous marriage, didn't, he didn't bother with him. He, as an adult, he never saw him. And as a kid, he left him in boarding schools. Even at the holiday time, he never brought him home. Now, Mrs. Buttersworth, Miss, uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Welsh was at one time Mrs. Buttersworth, and her husband died in a boating accident, but he too was a very prominent, wealthy lawyer, just as Mr. Welsh. So when, after Mr. Buttersworth died, before uh, him and Mrs. Uh, Buttersworth had a daughter together, Grizel. I'm sorry. I forgot about Grizel. Oh my goodness. Um, but Mr. Welsh and Mrs. Welsh or Mrs. Buttersworth never had children together. But with Mrs. Welsh coming from um, the death of her husband and being very wealthy because of him, they became very, very wealthy. And they could have, meaning Mr. Welsh and Mrs. Welsh were so wealthy that they could afford to buy all kinds of jewels and they could be in settings. They could be out of the settings. They could, I mean, they went to Africa and they got jewels there. They had sapphires and diamonds and rubies and, and emeralds and they were not the fake gems. They were real and worth tons of money. So now, Mr. Welsh, someone has killed him. And then here stands Gretel in the middle of his vault, but it's all emptied out, except she knows this vault well, and there are hidden compartments. And instead of saying something to Jack Fletcher, she decides he's looking around it. He don't know nothing about these compartments. So she decides there's probably something in there, especially if the person who did this or persons didn't know about the compartments. So she decided to come back later that night to look in those compartments. And that's exactly what she did. She came back later that night to find out what was in the compartments. Now, when she got in, she went into the compartments right away and what she found was just totally amazing. There was nothing in the compartments. So the person who robbed Mr. Welsh, well, they had to have known that there was nothing in those compartments. They cleaned it out. Now, as she's trying to put the compartments back together because she had to take them apart 
That's why they call them hidden compartments. A car comes into the yard and here she hears these voices and here it's Mrs. Welsh who wasn't supposed to be back to, until the next day and her lawyer. Now, when Mrs. Welsh gets into the house, she knows right away that something's not right because Kent had turned off the alarm so that Gretel could get in and get out. So right there, Mrs. Welsh knew something was going on and told her lawyer, turn on all the lights, someone's in the house with us. Now, Gretel had no lookout man. She had no other escape plan because she figured she would, no one's going to be there. Mrs. Welsh wouldn't be back until the next day. Now, she tries the doors to the other bedrooms, and they're not opening. And she doesn't have another escape route. So she has to hurry and try to get down to the butler's pantry and get in there, and hopefully they won't find her. But they're opening the doors to closets and everything, so chances are she's going to get caught. Well, she calls Kent, and Kent makes a phone call to the, the phone in the house, and they answer it, and he tells them to get out quickly. There's a bomb in the house. And so they leave. They get out of there immediately, and that's how she's able to get out of the house that day. Now, as she's running through the property um, to get to her car, there's a man dressed in all black, and he's chasing her and telling her to wait. Now, she didn't want to stop because was he in the house also? Was he the one who knew about the compartments as well? Or was that Jack Fletcher that was actually ch uh, chasing her and was going to arrest her? So she gets away, and the next day when she goes into work, she thinks that she's going to be going to jail. But evidently, it wasn't Jack Fletcher because he didn't arrest her. Now... Mr. Welsh was so wealthy. Remember this. He was very wealthy with all these jewels. But when they went, to, when Jack and Gretel went to his business firm, his, his uh, office, they found out from his partner, one of his uh, business partners, that the business was in trouble, that it was financially in trouble and about to go bankrupt. What? This man has all these jewels in his vault and he's about to go bankrupt? Well, there's definitely, definitely something not right here. Now, there's a lot of people that you have to wonder, you know, was it his business partner that killed him and broke into his, or went into his safe? Was it Mrs. Welsh and she just came back? Maybe she'd been there earlier. Um, could it have been his daughter? Could it have been his son? Even though he didn't talk to his son, maybe his son needed money. Who knows? But as the time goes on and Jack and Gretel are investigating this, they go out to the Welsh's cottage. And they get into a gun battle with some shady characters, thinking that it could possibly... I guess they thought that Jack was Ryan. They didn't see him close up, and they thought that Jack was Ryan, her boyfriend, Gretel's boyfriend. And so they have a shootout with them, and some police were hurt, and some of the men that were the shady guys, some of them were killed. But all in all, now it's time to find out what really happened to Mr. Welsh. Who killed this man? Now, Samantha Price does something better. She throws in a second mystery. Mr. Buttersworth, as I said, was a very prominent, wealthy man. He was an attorney also. He was on, on in a boat. He was uh, on, in a boating accident. He was fishing with some of his buddies, and he went overboard, and he drowned. Now, thing is, a little suspicion here. Mr. Welsh was on that boat. So did he have anything to do with Mr. Butterworth's death? And is that the reason why someone came back to kill him? Did he open the safe to pay them? And when they saw everything in there, they just decided to kill him. Well, they still have to investigate and talk to. They've talked to everybody. The only person left to talk to now is Ryan, which... 
they have no idea where he's at at this point and they have to talk to Grizel. And as they're sitting there, Jack looks down and he sees a ring on that was reported missing from the safe and Grizel is wearing it. And he asks Grizel, where did she get that ring? And she said her mother gave it to her. But the mother is the one who reported it missing. So when Jack goes back to the mother, Mrs. Welsh, he asked her, did she, she give any jewelry to Grizel? And she said, not that I recall. And then he tells her about this ring. And she said, oh, yeah, yeah. I, no, she knows she didn't give that ring to Grizel. So does that mean that Grizel was part of the, the murder? Was she someone to be a suspect? Was she someone they needed to look at? Or could have Mrs. Mrs. Welsh, her mom, have given her the ring and just really forgotten about it with everything that's going on? Or maybe even Mr. Welsh could have given it to her. Who knows? He's not there to say. Mrs. Welsh isn't really remembering. And now they have to either believe Grizel or not. What do they do? So, in the meantime, on her days off, Gretel is looking for her boyfriend, Ryan. And she wants to find out if she can get some of those diamonds. Because, you know, she's working for the, the feds now, okay? They have froze up her accounts. So all she has, she can't go to her offshore accounts because she don't want them to know about those. She can't use the money in the bank because... They've got a freeze on her account, so all she has to live on is what she has in her pocket. And luckily, she had taken some money out before everything had happened. So, she needs those diamonds, and she needs to find Ryan. Now, all of a sudden, she gets a text from him, and he's telling her to not look for him, that she is not going to get any of the diamonds, and just go away. Leave him alone. But she's not going to do that. She's going to continue to look for him. Just as her and Jack are going to continue to look for the person or persons who killed Mr. Walsh. Now, I'm not going to tell you anymore. Because then I would give everything away if I would, if I would tell you who the murderer or murderers are. So... That you'll have to read the book for yourself. It's called The Shiny Thing, Things by Samantha Price. Now, how did I like this book? I absolutely loved it. It was intriguing. It was adventurous. It was a I cannot put down book. Um, I read straight through. I mean, it was just a really, really super good book. I highly, highly recommend it. If you like mystery, if you like uh, things that intrigue you, that will hold this whole book just holds your curiosity. That each page, you just keep flipping the pages because you just want more and more. So that's my book review for today, and I give this book fifty thousand thumbs up, and it deserves more. Now, my next book, which will be the second book in the series, is called Controlled, and I liked this one, but I like that one too. And then the last one will be The Heist. And so I hope that you guys will listen to my next two book reviews to hear how these books all turn out. All right, guys, I hope that you all enjoyed the book review. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been with me for a while, welcome and thank you all so, so much. I love each and every one of you. Also, if you're just visiting my channel, please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. I could sure use some thumbs up and comments. I love to read the comments and I like to reply back. All right, stay cool wherever you are and have a wonderful, wonderful day. But stay safe, guys. Love you all. Bye.